Welcome to Munich International School, and I am your host, Dave Rops. <laughs> and I'm Phil Kerbis. And we're here to introduce you, we're the host for the... the Epic Munich Math Trail. That is what we're here to do. What is the Epic Munich Math Trail? I am so glad you answered, you asked that question. What you're going to find when you do this math trail, you are going to find that you're going to get an iPad. And there's a folder called ISMTF, and you're going to go to Google Earth. And we're going to take you to downtown Munich on a bus, and we're going to drop you off, give you this iPad, and on this iPad, you're going to go to the various pins. When you click on a pin, you're going to see one like question 9 here, which basically says there's a maypole in the Victorian Mart. And you want to find out how tall the umbrella is in the maypole. You need to be there to be able to figure that out. Some other ones you might find, like question two, for example, says get the needed QR code as you leave the bus. Then find the S-Bahn U-Bahn map. Okay, so there will be a, a coach at that location and they will have a QR code for you to scan. But what is a QR code? I'm glad you asked. What a QR code is if you click on the scan button, when you see things like that, that is a QR code. Ah. And that QR code is wishing you good luck on the Epic Munich Math Trail. So, it, so, so that will be an important app for you to use. Some other things that you have available to you are in Dropbox. You're going to have a soft copy of this document, the, the, the pins document. These are the questions that are on the various pins on Google Earth. You're also going to have a very important document called the Munich Math Locator document. Each question has a photo and maybe hint or tip provided along with it so that you can answer the question, be able to answer the question. You need to be at the location, have this locator doc document and the pins, put the pieces together to answer the question. Some more things you'll find on your iPad. You have this app here called a free graphing app. We can do various things like 8 times 8, it's 64. We can go to equations and we can double click on equations. And we can clear it and do, let's say, x to the power of 3, save it. And we can put several equations in. I'm going to change that to 2x, save it. And then we can graph it. And we can zoom in and out of our graph as we'd like. Double click on the screen and we can find roots, intersections, lots of things. We move things along and we can see our intersection point, various things. So that's a handy little app to have. We also have this one here, which, what's this one here going to be there, Mr. Kerbis? So that looks like a, something to measure angles and it has a, a water bubble in it so it's looking at, like it could be useful for if you wanted to measure angles of elevation or angles of depression. And you can lock the, the protractor various places. Once you hold it there you can lock it there to see the very, various angles that come up. And we have also a compass that you can use for good for bearings, sending you in certain directions. And we also have a handy camera. We can take pictures of people if we want. But we, we also are going to be given a kit. And with your kit, inside your kit, you're going to be have the Munich locator document. Very important. You're also be going to be given a hard copy of the PINS document. You'll have paper and pencil. High tech. High tech. And you're going to have a ruler that you can use to measure things if needed. And then most importantly, you have the answer sheet where you put your names and you answer the questions. And there's a couple tips here for you. First tip is, you will not be able to get to every question, so use your time wisely. You're only going to have about an hour and a half to do this. You won't get to them all, so make sure you think ahead for that. The next tip is be careful to answer the questions in the indicated form. Some say exact, some answers say uh, write them as a ratio. So make sure you think about that. You must stay together as a group. Stick together. There's four of you. And you must work together as a group. Don't do what these people did. I can't do that. It's got to be halfway. See, we're here. I'm not stupid, but we need to get my clothes. It's not over there. It's over there.
No, because look. What's, what's behind that? Right, listen to me. What's, what's behind there? Listen. If you go through there, what's this behind there? This bear. What's over there? I'm not sure. No, that's too far. This bear. The direct distance from me to this one. You're kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Now I know you're not going to work like them, you're going to work really well together. Next tip is optimize the use of technology. Use it. You have it, use it. Uh, where possible, feel free to work ahead. There's also no rule that says you must answer the question at the, located, at the location pin. So by all means, take it and move on. The information and then move on and as you're moving to the next location, a couple people from your group can be working on the question. But then you must return to the bus by 12.30. And if you get lost, please find your way to the Marion Platz, to the fish fountain. And the fish fountain, at the fish fountain, you're going to be looking for a lady, this Miss Hughes, you're looking for her. But the one thing I want to remember. So if you get lost and you're really not sure where you're at, then most people in uh, Munich, if you just say Marion Platz, they'll direct you there and you'll see Miss Hughes by the fish fountain. Right. And on your Google Maps, make sure you look for the bus pin. It's green. It's the only one that's green. It's different. And as you leave this hall, the next thing you're going to be doing, instructed to do, is to go to your classroom, where you'll be given the iPad and your kit. Make sure your Google Earth and your Dropbox are working in the Wi-Fi of the school. As soon as you leave, you'll have no Wi-Fi. It will hold the settings, but it, you will not be able to update or change it. So don't quit any of the programs. Excellent. Have fun. Good luck on the epic math, Munich math trail.